Now, the rest of the story. The 76 is getting called in to go to work. We got the 79 on the easy trail. 76 is on the easy trail. Grain cart though. We haven't put a chain around the drawbar yet from the three point to support the drawbar so I'm not tweaking the drawbar. But this is pretty much a shakedown day. We're getting everything filled up making sure everything works as of right now it all does quite well honestly and with what little bit of room is still on this cart after we empty out what's in the grain bin or the hopper on the combine Andrew's coming to calibrate our yield monitor because well it needs to be calibrated we don't know what it's running uh, the monitor is just spitting out random numbers anywhere from 60 to 105 and we should be set. Other than getting Andrew covered in soybean dust, uh, we're getting the monitor calibrated. So all we do is we run out uh, so many feet or bushels into the tank of the combine, and then we have to weigh it, and we'll put the weight into the monitor so we'll know what our, our yields are going forward here. And like I just got done telling Mr. Tucker, it's not so much to know so you can look at the monitor and go oh my gosh it's running you know 20 30 40 50 bushels because that really doesn't matter uh, what it does is it's logging information for what the fields are yielding and how they're performing so we can make better management decisions for the following year and no we're not seeing guy high yields either but at least they're not in the you know 20s or 30s or 40s yet so i'm grateful for that then ryan's other than flying the drone uh the red cart is loaded up and this will be we have four loads uh semi loads taken off already and we're got a little bit left on the home farm to go go park over by the gate, so when Ryan gets back from well, the elevator, we can just jump in this quick and, and drop it in. And this is our second farm of beans. Overall variable. Uh, we've seen our average yields of, you know, like 70, 80s, and we've seen not quite that. <laughs> and this is all we got left here. And we haven't been running for very long, probably two or three hours. And this, I chose the roughest part of the field to drive across. 46 and 76 both have the chains on the three-point arms that are there to give the drawbar moral support. I'm not trying to lift the drawbar up. No. The chain is really only there for if the drawbar starts to sag at all. The chain is there to help support it. I don't want to risk bending the drawbars on either of these tractors. So, 79 still sitting on the grain wagon. Probably end up putting that in tonight because today is Thursday and not a very high chance of rain, like 17%. And the forecast beyond that, I don't think they're really calling for any. And if we can run for a week with out being slowed down by rain we could have we'll be done with beans here within a week then switch over to corn and try to find some corn that's dry enough to harvest uh, I think I got at least one field that 
I planted a hybrid with the intentions of harvesting it in October for sure. And then with the drier year that we had, uh, I think it was actually ready sooner than even I was originally planning for. So we'll see how that goes. But combine's running great. I mean, going through and doing our regular service of air filters, cab filters, checking the oils and greasing the necessities on it. I don't grease this as often as I used to on the 6620 or the 9510. Not saying that I completely disregard it, um, but a lot of the Zerks on it are 50 hour Zerks, not all of them. I mean, uh, there's some that I grease every single day. Uh, but there's some, for the most part, where I'm only supposed to grease it every 50 hours. Well, that's once a week, once every couple days. And I just as soon not wait that long, especially in soybeans. Look at the combine earlier than me. And the biggest thing we're seeing is the breakout of late season grass and weeds. Uh, the soybeans didn't canopy as well as they normally would. And that allowed like weeds to come in in August, which is something we don't generally have to deal with. The problem with that is, do you want to pay to have them sprayed again? Uh, we don't have a drone, so we'd be paying to have our agronomist come through and spray it with his drone. And then, typically, when you're spraying your fungicide with that with that drone, uh, was when we would be would have been wanting to to spray this for the weeds and. Uh, economically, it just didn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, nobody wants to see weeds, but it was, you know, lesser of two evils kind of a thing. And for as everybody's saying is how dirty and dusty the beans are, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, we're, we're spitting a lot of dust out, but it's not as bad as what I've heard. I've had a couple stories told to me already where... The wind shifts on you. You guys can't even see the header out the front of the cab. That is a dusty crop. So I'm at least we're lucky so far not running into anything of that. Uh, the head, the head is working awesome. To you that are in the know, that the wiring harness, the mice had decided to make that their sustenance for over the winter which even before this past winter, it was, it was what was giving us issues. And you drop the head down, you hit the buttons to drop it down and it drops like it's supposed to. The only issue that we're having with it is the same alerts we were getting last year for the, the voltage for the sensors on the, on the combine. Um, the one sensor on the left side of the head as you're sitting in the seat you know um, is throwing a code sporadically but we all know full well that's because we were messing with the sensor so much last year because that's what we thought the issue was so all I got to do is get them adjusted back into to spec that they need to be which shouldn't be terrible um, just got to take the time to do it and the mornings we actually have been able to seems like we're actually able to run earlier in the mornings than at night uh, it seems like we're quitting about seven o'clock either we're getting done or the carts are full or whatever else this is day three um today was probably the latest we started it was about quarter to 11. i mean yesterday i think we were running by quarter to 10 which isn't very common for soybeans but we also got down to 44 degrees last night at my place, and it was a pretty heavy dew. So the 76, like last year, it ended up on the, the green cart, which is fine. Maybe that's what we'll end up doing through corn, because I want to use that 79 on the... I want to use the 79 on the the grain wagon for roading, uh, IVT and more horsepower and more tractor. 
Um, running the 82 on it last year when the 76 went down, uh, that actually sped up harvesting and filling the bins from my place. Uh, I think we lost actually probably half a day. Granted, even with the 76, we have both carts parked down there and if Dale's helping or if Ryan's running the cart or whatever we're doing, um, it, it actually went by really well. And the combine, even with record yields that we had down at my place last year, basically everywhere last year, uh, the combine didn't have to sit and wait for me at all. Um, more or less just having the, the carts sitting there being mini mother bins. I know in Australia they got the massive mother bins. Uh, but just having empty space there that the combine can at least keep moving is huge. And it doesn't take me very long to drop out that gravity box up to the bins. You wind that grain auger up wide open and just let it sing and open up the, the grain wagon and, until you basically got it maxed out and get it empty. But Ryan and I haven't harvested any beans yet. Uh, probably have some of mine taken off here within the next 24 hours. Probably gonna be my best field. Problem is it's my smallest field. And then I got all that replant. That'll probably be the last stuff that we harvest in general. Because as of four days ago, we were figuring it was gonna take a frost to get them to actually dry dry down. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna pan out. I gotta go up and look at them again. Because the stuff that I planted originally was maturing but then the replanted stuff that was almost a month later, it was 26 days later. Um, it was still fairly green yet, had a lot of its leaves on it, but it's, it's maturing quick. I just don't know just what it's actually gonna do. It's, um, as far as this year, I really haven't actually paid a whole lot of attention to that farm other than doing what it needs and not really driving by and admiring it as much as I did last year when it was in corn. So did I mention I'm not a fan of soybeans? <laughs> um, it's going to be what it's going to be. Maybe we'll actually pick up a little bit more moisture on it. Um, this stuff is like 11-12%. That later uh, planted soybeans on it. Maybe that'll actually get me a few, uh, a few more points moisture wise and we'll actually be closer to that 12 13 percent even if it'll be the last stuff we harvest maybe it'll even out one can only hope so well you guys just saw my daily exercise time to get back to work